Looks like there's a bunch of alert people in here. I thought this was supposed to be Taggart's people, though. So, is it really Taggart's people, or did they all turn on him and kill each other? I do not know yet. Well, I can open this. Let's see, this looks like a pretty easy thing to hack. You might as well just go straight for that. I'm just gonna nuke it all. Alright, we're done here. Access granted. Thank you kindly. What's in here? It looks like Tackard's people. They don't look like they're going to attack, but you know, who knows? You would attack though. I had. They would have done it to me, but I did it first. Did that guy have a gun? No, he's just got a a spike for an arm. Watch it. Real. Not real. Not, 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 not real. That's right. I'm not real. No one's actually here. Thanks for putting me out in the middle of the room, you piece of crap game. <laughs> that was so crappy. I can't believe it did that. Because we were totally in this room here. But I guess they, they find that this room is too small for uh, actually doing anything. But I think that's kind of silly. Because now I'm doing this. Okay, whatever. Just some random stupid glitch. Oh well. We'll save Taggart's people soon here. Sounds like there's a lot of people in there. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. What should I do here? I think I'm going to go with a concussion grenade. And we're just gonna... Get everyone coming. Come on, buddies. Boink. One for you. And one for both of you. Oh, looks like there's still someone in there. <laughs> punch that takes both of them. That's nice. Give me a little time, and here we go. There. Now there is no one in here to do anything. I don't know why he has ammo, considering... Hey, wait. Why are you dead? Oh, I guess you're one of the people that got killed by these guys going crazy. Hopefully, because I don't want to be the one who accidentally killed you be just like this game to have me accidentally kill someone. Don't, make, don't get me wrong though, I mean this game's pretty awesome. One way or another, but it's really annoying when it has me kill things by accident. Uh, automatic message. We received a request. And we've got Kathy's and missing me. Missing H me. Live, love, learn. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it looks like we can uh, turn off some machines here. Or at least cameras, I would hope. Okay. So there's two ways to go, and both are to a green thing. And it looks like um, it doesn't matter where I go because there's going to be another green thing I have to go for. These last hack things have been kind of odd. I honestly don't care if I'm... I 
Actually, I might as well just use that. But I don't care if I'm using up this stuff now because I'm pretty Ice sure this is it. If this isn't it, um, I will be surprised. So that looks like uh, Taggart or possibly Seraph, I can't tell. That's just the hallway and also the hallway. None connected because I blew that robot up. Anything back here? Well, there's combat rifle ammo. What about up here? Nope, nothing that I can tell. Whoa, there's something even higher. Doesn't look like it's worth anything though. All right, well, I think we're basically done with this room here, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Okay, let's go and say hello to the Taggart people. I'm sure they're fine at this point. Hey guys, how you doing? Nice, uh, nice nuke virus. I'm just gonna read this email real quick and uh, let you guys stand there needlessly while I check it out. Taking care of our girls, apparently. Look, guys, I know it makes some of you squeamish, but we have a responsibility to these girls. They are sacrificing everything to make sure this station is safe and secure. Need I remind you what could happen if a tiny crack in the outer structure goes undetected? I'm not asking you to sit in there and talk to them, but I am asking you to make sure the nutrient lines are filled and no contaminants are getting in, and it's perfectly safe to open the pod every once in a while to check for heart rate and pulse fluctuations manually. Just remember to use the associated security hub for each pod to open and then close it after you're done. Thanks, ST. Hmm. The hell were they doing around here? Wow. This is quite the room here. Hey, how you doing, Willie? Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, oh, shut your Taggart. face. You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation, rules governing how the technology is developed, and laws that ensure it's used for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength, and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves like... like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. I'm not looking hey, don't for sweet talk, man. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will, but I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropazine supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? 
Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. Uh huh. So basically, I'm only coming to speak with you guys to get possible solutions to the ending of this game, is what I'm uh, hearing you right seem now. You to be unaffected by the signal that Daryl is broadcasting. I suppose that is a military adaptation? Uh, not exactly. That Hugh Daryl is a monster! Such a tragedy. In the right hands, this technology could have helped so many people! Uh huh. Get away! Just get away! I saw what you people did! You killed them all! You even killed each other! Uh huh. Uh. Shut the fuck up, lady. I don't give a crap if you all are freaking out now. She deserved it. Totally deserved it. I'm sure you'll be fine in a few minutes anyhow. I'll take that. Yeah, a little bit crazy. What is up here? Can I even get in there? Totally looks like I should be able to get in there. If I have a box, I can probably do it. There we go. What is this? Huh. A ladder. Where in the world was this coming from? Wow. This is, uh... Oh, down here, huh? So where does this other tunnel lead, anyway? Not really much to see. Oh. Another box in another area. Whoops, I did not mean to pick up those plasma capsules. I've used up a lot of things, but anyway, it's, uh... Where the hell is this exactly? Oh, it's literally right outside their room. Kind of a silly place for it to be. But there it is. And I'm sure they're okay with my presence again. How did you manage to avoid being affected by the signal? Were you in on it with that bastard, Darrow? Nope. So far it seems like she was the only one that deserved to be punched in the face. Multiple ways of... Oh, did I just kill you? I think I may very well have. Now all these people are dead out here, aren't they? No, I don't think I killed him. That is just what it was. If I did kill him, then, oh, well, whatever. Actually, you know what? I think it quick saves, um, or auto saves, right inside of, uh, Daryl, or Taggart's place. Just for the hell of checking, let's see, yeah, it does. And you're definitely dead. So it does not matter. And it also looks like you can't punch through um, this side of the wall. You have to be on the inside for it to be a wall to punch through. It's kind of strange. Perhaps that's because this was in the way? I don't know. But he was dead. So no point in not punching that wall. And now we'll talk to Seraph, and Seraph will say his spiel, and be like, you should do this, and blah blah blah, this one should do that, you should do that, blah 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 blah. And then we get to uh, probably pick our own ending based on those. If that is the case, um, I will probably save before the actual ending happens. And we will see all the endings that are possible. At least that's what my hope is. I don't think I moved over far enough. It that's okay. 
I can just jump up on this box and get up there. Let's go to this machine room and go talk to Seraph. Is this to the machine room? I guess it is. Because this is obviously the way I need to go. Alright. Let's head to the machine room then. Through this elevator, it would seem. And we'll see what Sarah's people have to say. Probably some other stupid stuff. This is quite a ride. How the hell long is this? There are a lot of people down here, apparently. This is definitely the machine room, though. And these pipes make it impossible for me to uh, go against the wall. Just kind of a pain in the ass. Some heavy rifle ammo. Nothing. Looks like pretty much all of uh, the people in here are experiencing fun times. <laughs> okay. We'll just go over here, get rid of a couple of these people. Ooh. That was certainly a move, all right. Hi. You, uh... You can keep coming after me, that's fine. Maybe I can get both of you, or a couple of you, anyway. That's close enough for you. Alright. Getting rid of these people ever so slowly. Looks like there's possibly two, three more. Yeah, there's something glitchy with these lights in here. Come on, buddy. Now, you stand still. Or lay still. You know, whatever works. Just relax. We don't need to fight this out. We just need to sleep. Well, there's definitely more people in here. Seems a lot harder to get here than it was to get at uh, Taggart. So there's people behind this thing. I don't know exactly where to go to get over this. Might not be able to from this room. I'll figure it out. Eventually, I imagine. Ooh. Yeah, I can't really go up there.